Hey there, my name is Gabe Kennedy. I am the co-founder of Plant People. I'm also a chef. Today, I'm gonna to make one of my favorite uh, dishes of all time. It's a tamago yaki, which is sort of a sweet egg omelet that is folded layer by layer. And we're gonna serve that with some glazed mushrooms, uh, some kale, and then some pickled vegetable. These are all of the ingredients we're gonna be cooking with today. For the tamago yaki, we are going to take five large pasture-raised eggs, and we're going to mix that with a light colored soy, a little bit of mirin, some sesame oil, and sugar. We're then going to glaze some mushrooms. These are brown beech hunjimeji mushrooms with a little bit of kale in the same ingredients of soy, sesame, and some sugar. We're going to make purple rice by combining some white sushi rice and a little bit of uh, starchy black rice. And then to add another vegetable component, I have some pickled burdock, some pickled daikon, and some avocado. Okay, so first things first is we're gonna start our rice because it's gonna take the longest. So to make the rice, um, I actually always make sure that I wash the rice incredibly well. I'm gonna do predominantly white rice, and in this case, I'm gonna use about a cup and a half. And then I'm going to put just a little bit of this purple rice in for some color. Uh, if you add too much, it's just gonna turn the whole thing uh, black. All right, so I washed my rice and I'm getting that going first. Uh, you wanna make sure that the water runs until it's clear. And then you wanna add the proper ratio, which is around one cup rice to one and a quarter cup water. In my opinion, if you cook it correctly, it should come out nice and fluffy, not too sticky. And now on for the main event, which is the tamago yaki. This is my favorite thing to cook. Um, out of everything, because it's this beautiful, sweet, folded Japanese omelet. So we're gonna start with five eggs. And into these eggs, we're going to mix our, uh, our light soy. And what I like about this light soy is that it's not as intense, nor is it as salty as traditional soy sauce. So I'm gonna add about one, two, no, tablespoons. Now you can, you know, follow the recipe, but I like to sort of freestyle it a bit. I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of mirin. Also gonna add about two teaspoons of sesame oil. And then I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of sugar. I don't love to add sugar to food, but this is so insane and Honestly, it's worth it. So all I'm gonna do is whisk this up and then we'll begin creating kind of the folded omelet. And I like whisking until I see uh, sort of one consistent color and texture. Now, traditionally when you make this dish, you actually use a tamago, a tamago kind of pan. Um, it's, it's square. And this square pan allows you to fold the omelet into this kind of brick-like, um, kind of a brick-like thing, um, omelet. But I don't actually have that. So I'm gonna just use a well kind of seasoned cast iron. And as the cast iron begins to heat up, I will prepare my mushrooms and I will prepare my kale. So these are just connected by one, you know, kind of main little clump. So you can save this for stock. And I'm actually gonna just leave these whole. And what we'll do is slowly cook them down. Towards the end, we'll fold in some kale. So I've already washed this. We're just gonna strip it, kind of take the ribs out. Easiest way to do that is just pinch um, the bottom of the rib like so, and just slide. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a rough chop on this so that it's not too uh, stringy or too much. And here's the secret, okay? So we don't want this to be too hot, but we want it to be well seasoned. What we're gonna do is add the egg layer by layer and spread this around so that it makes an even layer. 
Now what I'm gonna do is slowly roll it. And you wanna roll it back to the back of the pan. And we're gonna add another thin layer. The key here is you wanna roll the egg all around, lift up the first layer so that the raw egg goes underneath that first layer. And then we're gonna repeat the process over and over and over again. Now we have our tamago yaki. So I'm just gonna let it cool on the side of my cutting board. Now we're gonna cook our mushrooms. And first thing is we're just gonna throw them into the pan. Do about one tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons, four tablespoons, one tablespoon of mirin. Almost a tablespoon of sesame and just a sprinkle oops, of sugar. And we're gonna cook this on low, allowing the mushrooms to sort of cook out and a glaze to begin to form. I'm going to take the gobo, which is a pickled burdock. I'm gonna just cut this into like two inch strips. We'll cut our daikon into half moons here. Mushrooms are starting to cook down. This is where I add in the kale. So we see that they're nice and glazed. I'm trying to show you that. They're nice and glazed. I'm gonna fold in this kale and then let it continue to cook and wilt. The rice is gonna cool. Our kale and mushrooms are done. Looks like this. So here's the pickle component of our dish. Here is our tamago yaki, which is now room temperature. I got a bowl. Um, I'm gonna take a few scoops of rice here and take our kale and mushroom. Throw it right on the side. I'm going to take a few pieces of our pickled vegetable. So here's our bowl. Oh my God, we forgot the tamago yaki. All right, tamago yaki. We're gonna make a few slices. There we go. Now we're complete. So what I like to do is I like to take my um, my uh, my nori, and I just build a little hand roll. Wrap it, and we get this. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed.